One of the coolest projects that we've made in Woodsmith Magazine is this table lamp. What's really sweet about it is the solid wood shade that goes with it. You'll make it here at the bandsaw, but even though it looks like a bunch of thin strips that are joined together, it actually starts as a pair of solid blanks. In order to transform the blanks into the lampshade, you'll do a couple of fancy cuts here at the bandsaw. But there's a little bit of prep work that you'll need to take care of before you get to this point. Once you have your blanks cut to their final overall size, you'll go over to the table saw. There you'll set up a dado blade and cut a dado near each end of the blanks. Now this dado is going to house a wood ring that you'll make that gives the lampshade its shape. Now keeping that same dado blade installed, you'll set up to cut a rabbit along the edge of the blank. Then you'll cut another rabbit on the opposite face just by flipping the blank over. Finally, it's, it's time to step over to the router table where you'll route a chamfer on each end just to ease the edges a little bit. That brings you here to the bandsaw. Now in order to give it that zigzag shape, you'll make a series of stopped cuts from each end of the blank in an alternating pattern across it. So what's nice is that the cuts are symmetrical. So once you've set up the rip fence for the first cut, all you need to do is flip the piece over and make a second cut and it's going to be right on. I marked a stop line near each end of the work piece. I also marked another pair of stop lines on the opposite face. To make the cut, simply slide the work piece into the blade in a fluid motion ending right at the layout line. Then you'll just pull the work piece back slowly, flip it around so the other edge of the blank is riding on the rip fence and make a second cut. The remaining cuts are merely a repeat of this motion. You'll reposition the rip fence and then make a cut along one edge, flip the piece over and make a second cut on the opposite edge. The final cut goes right down the middle of the blank. You'll make a second set of cuts starting from the opposite end of the workpiece. These cuts are designed to go right between the cuts that you just got done making. You'll make five pairs of cuts. The key here is keeping the edge of the workpiece up against the rip fence. However, you don't want to apply too much pressure, which could flex the cut and make the blade drift off course. Just like before, it's just a matter of making each pair of cuts by repositioning the rip fence and then making a cut along each edge. Here's something I noticed while I was making the cuts. The more that I made, the springier this workpiece got. So even though I took care in setting the rip fence, I found that I had to make some course corrections in the middle and steering along the cut to keep it centered right down the middle of the two cuts on either side of it. So you're probably going to have to do the same thing as well. Now, however, once you get done, what you have started with was a rigid piece of wood is now a flexible and bendable workpiece that's ready to get transformed into a lampshade. Now you'll find the rest of the plans for making this table lamp in Woodsmith issue 236. Along the way you've learned a great technique at the bandsaw that can help improve the types of projects that you build.